Calgary, looking good. I mean, the sky's not looking good. That part, not so much. But that part, looking good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to tell you more about what the plan is today. But first, I think it's time we go down there. Calgary's waiting. Let's go. And just like that, here we are. So basically, as mentioned, I was sent here by Travel Alberta and Tourism Calgary to take part in something called the Calgary Creator House. And the idea was to get different creators from YouTube and Instagram and stuff to come visit Calgary and see what it has to offer. And the cool thing about it is they didn't tell me like, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. They were just like, come here, show off our city, and if you need anything, we're here for you. And they even offered to get a local creator from Calgary to kind of meet up and show me around a bit. Uh, so I hope that's gonna happen, and if it does, I'm definitely gonna introduce him in the video. For now, I'm just kind of walking around, taking it all in. So right now I'm just walking over towards 17th Ave. I heard that this is a street with lots of cool restaurants and bars and coffee shops and yeah, it should just give us a good feeling for downtown Calgary. Anyway, because we are right near the mountains, the temperature can change a lot during the day. So I would definitely advise to bring some layers if you're traveling in Calgary. Like right now I have a sweater. But in the middle of the day, it's going up to 24 or 25, so yeah, the weather can change quick. As I'm walking, I just saw my first sign for the Calgary Stampede. Arguably the biggest party in Canada. Definitely the biggest festival that happens in Calgary. But it was last month in July. It's this huge rodeo and music festival and party that... Um, I've never been there, but I've heard the stories. It sounds pretty epic. And just like that, here we are, 17th Ave. So far it reminds me of Vancouver. It's got a similar vibe down here. Or maybe it's just the gray sky that reminds me of Vancouver. But we should get some sun this afternoon though, so that's a good thing. I swear this video is not an advertisement for scooters. You gotta believe me. They're just everywhere. <laughs> they see me rolling, they hate Okay guys, so I mentioned a bit earlier we might be meeting up with a local Calgary creator. Here he is, the man, the legend. What's up fam? J.R. McDonald. What's up? Welcome yeah. to YYC. So what part of the city are we in now? So right now we're right at the Peace Bridge. Uh huh. Um, we're in... We're on Memorial Drive, so we're right in Inglewood. Yeah. We're probably gonna go to 17th Ave, we're gonna do East Village, we're gonna do Kensington, and we're just gonna go for the circuit, have some fun. Can't wait. Come check out my city. It's pretty cool standing under this thing. I have never seen a bridge like this before. All right, Jay, so you were born in Calgary, is that right? Yeah, yeah. born and raised. So what do you consider to be like, what makes Calgary unique? What's something you only get in Calgary? Calgary's the only place where I can like leave my house downtown in 45 minutes. I can drive to the mountains, I can hike at sunrise, so I can hike in Kananaskis country, get to the top of the mountain before 10 a.m., be back, and be back to work by noon kind of thing. Wow. Um, plus Calgary, Calgary has, we get what's called Chinook arches. I don't know the exact reason behind it, but a Chinook arch is essentially a warm wind. So it could be minus 20 um, degrees Celsius, and then literally halfway through the day it can shift to plus 10, 15 degrees Celsius. So you get blue skies with this perfect Chinook arch. It's crazy, man. Yeah. You gotta be prepared for every weather up here, huh? Yeah. And that's <laughs> the other thing, we get everything. So, yeah. All right, so we were walking down the street and Jay just pointed out this place called uh, What's it called? Devonian Gardens. It's like this indoor garden right inside the shopping center. I bet this place is popular in the wintertime, huh? Welcome to the zoo. Welcome to the zoo. <laughs> All right, 
Alright, so Jay has 15 years piano experience. Here we go. That's a lie. It's a bold face lie. <laughs> Enough for a vlog. Awesome, we got a free piano. Feels like you're in Jurassic Park or something. I have never seen a place like this inside a shopping mall, that is for sure. Wow. Alright guys, I'm now outside the new Central Library in Calgary. Uh, I'm pretty excited to check this out. I've only seen it in pictures, but as you can see, this place is pretty cool. Check out the wooden ceiling on this place. Been a blast. Thanks for showing me around the city. Dude, thanks for coming check it out, man. Yo, any final words for someone who's like thinking about visiting Calgary? Get your ass down here. <laughs> That's it. Get on down. Well said, brother. Yeah. Also get your ass down to what's your Instagram handle? JR McDonald. JR McDonald. The letter R McDonald. Yeah. MC. And I heard a little rumor that you might be on the tube. YouTube's coming the in YouTube. hot. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming soon. in hot. Yeah. Alright man. I'm looking forward my, I'll to make it my goal to be done and posted yeah. before you post this. Thanks for checking out my city. Thank you, Bro. man. You know, for those who might not be Canadian, you might not know this, but Calgary is the center of the oil and gas industry in Canada. So that's where most of the wealth is driven from. And I'd say about 10 or 15 years ago, the oil and gas industry was booming. And Calgary's economy was growing very quickly. Lots of new buildings were being built. But since then, it started to slow down. And that's the story I'd heard about Calgary. That's the story that most people hear about Calgary. But something Jay pointed out to me today that I never really considered before is, I mean, he put it like this. First, Calgary had to grow up. But now that Calgary started to settle down, you're seeing Calgary grow in other ways. You're seeing Calgary grow culturally speaking. So things like that new museum that we saw today that never existed when Calgary was having its growth 15 years ago. It's taken time to settle and now you see more street art, you see more cool hip neighborhoods, you see people wanting to live downtown instead of just out in the suburbs. And I think it's like that with most places, you know? Everyone has an idea of what a city will be like, but oftentimes that idea is outdated. It's just based on what you heard from other people. And what I saw today is Calgary is more than just oil and gas. Calgary is, Calgary's evolved. Calgary's changing. Calgary's a pretty cool place to be. In my next video, I actually got a rental car and I'm gonna be driving up towards the mountains, which are just nearby Calgary. Uh, I'm really excited for this. So if you wanna see more of the natural side of Canada, stay tuned for that next video. It will not disappoint. And uh, as for today, I mean, yeah, let me know if you're from Calgary, what you thought of my video. If you're not from Calgary, let me know if you'd like to visit. I think it's a pretty cool place. And yeah, I got my camera doing a little time lapse right now. I think that's the perfect way to end this video. Hope you enjoy this final shot. As always, guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. I'll see you next time.